My latest project is a miniature Nixie tube power supply that can operate off of a single coin cell. Let me show you how to build one of your own. First, order the PC boards from OSH Park. When you receive them, you'll need to use a file to clean the edges off to remove the burrs. Next, solder the component C1. Use a soldering iron to put solder on one of the pads, then place the component and reheat that solder to allow the component to settle onto the pads. Then solder the other side. Next, solder the transistor that comes in the 8-pin package. Be very careful to line up the beveled edge of the package with the white line on the silk screen. Again, I like to add solder to one of the pads. I can use that to position the part very carefully so that everything lines up. Once I've finished, then I get to solder the remaining pads. If you accidentally bridge two pins with solder, you can use a piece of solder braid to remove that. Time to flip the board now. Solder the diode, the 10K resistor R2, the capacitor C2, R1, the 20K resistor, and finally, the coil. Tin the end of a 13-inch piece of 32-gauge magnet wire. Solder it to the upper left through-hole next to the coil. Then wrap it around the coil clockwise five turns. Then run the wire through the middle through hole under the coil and pull it tight. Take the end of the wire and then run it back through the same hole and pull it tight, forming a very small loop at the end of the through hole. Solder it. Wrap another five turns clockwise, then solder the wire to the rightmost through hole. Cut another piece of magnet wire, 5 inches long, and solder it to the lower left through hole. Put on two clockwise turns and solder it to the remaining through hole. Solder in the inductor L1. Finally, solder connecting wires to the three terminals, plus, minus, and out. Hope you had fun, and try not to get shocked.